they want to gain muscle mass, which I imagine there's a body when you do a body sculpting, there would have been a phase you were doing that, and then there would be a phase where you're trying to um, get lean and, and drop body fat. Um, which same with footballers, they um, they may have a goal to do that as well, dropping body fat. Um, what, what would be some common um, tips and tricks that you give developing footballers uh, to apply into their nutrition? Yeah, yeah. So you know, obviously, I think. Um, mostly for AFL, you know, most guys want to maximize lean mass and and essentially minimize the excess fat mass. You know, that's pretty much everyone is, is doing that in some capacity, you know, some are going to be more going harder on the paint uh, than others and and more motivated. But certainly I think for for virtually everyone, that's, uh, that's what we're trying to achieve. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when it comes to muscle mass, I'm, I mean, really we're talking about um, protein and optimising your protein intake. That, that's the cornerstone of muscle mass, seeing as how muscle itself is made of protein. So I, I think most people um, get enough day, protein on, on a daily basis when you look at like, you know, two grams per kilo per day, you know, which would be kind of a standard recommendation for a uh, protein intake for an athlete. And why is the quality you mentioned... Um, making sure you're getting your fuel from um, real food. Why is that benefit uh, or what, what are some of the benefits compared to someone that gets, you know, if you're eating 1,500 calories from real food and yet someone else, another athlete's eating 1,500 calories from packaged um, processed foods, what would be um, some of the benefits for someone that changed from processed to to eating real foods? Yeah. So, I mean, the way I see it is there's three major facets of nutrition um, and that would be optimizing body composition, as we, we've spoke about a little bit already, um, fueling and recovery. And, and then like a big umbrella over all that is health and well-being. Um, and so if you're not eating mostly whole minimally processed foods, you're not going to be getting enough fiber for one thing. Um, and the range of micronutrients that your body needs to, to function op- optimally. Um, you know, I know myself and, and most of the athletes that I've worked with, uh, you know, you feel a lot better when you eat good food. You feel better about yourself. Your body functions better, um, uh, and you, you know, you perform better uh, as a result of that. Is that something that you educate the boys at the Gold Coast Boys as well? Is where where to get your food from in terms of supermarkets and farmers markets and these sort of things? Yeah, definitely. And again, that that comes down to the individual and kind of trying to work out where they're at and meet them where they're at. So, you know, people are going to have different um, ideologies around nutrition and food. People are going to value it differently. People have got different backgrounds, upbringings, uh, you know, different types of foods they like, different levels of cooking experience, levels of shopping experience. So, um, you know, being a dietitian, you've got to look at all those things and basically try and, try and tease out what you, where each individual is at and then kind of get, give them what you think is going to be the... Um, you know, the biggest, the biggest stick things that we can to change, you know, um, someone that's already really proficient in the kitchen, I'm probably not going to harp on too much about uh, recipes and stuff like that. You know, whereas someone that's uh, had mum and dad cook every meal for them and never been to the supermarket, well, we might be talking about specifically all right, what aisle to find things in, what to buy, what to look like, what brands. You mentioned um, for the guys that really need to gain critical mass um, a bit more, the skinny um, players, both men and women getting in a protein hit before bed. Um, why is that important? And, and what would be an example of a meal to have um, before bed or before sleep? Yeah, so, um, you know, obviously sleep's where we recover. We train all day and um, the training in of itself is actually not um, what – what makes us great athletes it's the adaptation and the recovery from the training itself the training is um, you know breaks our body down and it's when we rest and sleep that our body's rebuilding building us up a little bit bigger a little bit stronger you know we're f- forming new neurons and, and doing all that great stuff it gets us a little bit better each day um, so optimizing your recovery is is, is critical and, and basically um, you know you're trying to breaking down your muscle. You want to build that back up overnight while you're sleeping. And so giving yourself uh, the substrate that you need, which is protein right before you go to bed, um, you know, it's flicks you into anabolism, 
And so you, you're building up muscle um, uh, and just give, giving you that little extra boost. And, w- and what's your take on organic, biodynamic, um, regular commercial food? Do you have a pre- you know, do you have a, an opinion on that matter? Um, you know, I think it's good to minimise, um, you know, your intake of chemicals and pesticides and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how good of a job organic does at that. I think in a lot of cases they just use different types of organic pesticides and, and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm not overly fussy and not overly fussed on organic. Uh, to be honest, I feel like a lot of especially organic stuff that you find in supermarkets is um, just a bit of a money spinner. Right, you know, that's interesting. I, yep. Yeah, I mean, ideally you'd get fresh produce out of your garden or, you know, someone you know would grow it. But I think without that, it's hard to kind of guarantee uh, the quality. And I yes. think that, you know, fruit, fruits and vegetables are so healthy that, you know, even just standard stuff, you should never avoid it just because it's not organic or, or um, what you should do is wash it thoroughly. So, um, you know, a great saying I always think of from uh, Michael Greger is uh, the solution to pollution is dilution.